Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial, guys, on a Mega Iron Farm for 1.18. Now, this bad boy pumps about 5,000 iron per hour, about 200 bone mill per hour, and the cool thing about this is it has a huge storage system, it's self sorting, and no maintenance, which is a plus. Now, as you can see, guys, this thing is running 24 7, it never stops. But not to worry, guys, this bad boy has an overflow protection system, so you won't have no headaches. Now, right off the bat, we're going to start off with the storage system, guys. This thing is 11 by 11. It is a key component in this whole design. Trust me, this is all you need. Now, pause the video. Make sure you have this for the storage system. Great. Now, once you got that, guys, this thing is about six blocks tall, so keep that in mind. It's 11 by 11. You're going to go right here towards the middle, and you're going to go count about four blocks up right in the middle, and on the fourth one, you're going to break that and put some soul sand. Then you're going to place a dropper right behind it facing forward. Go about one, two, place another soul sand there and another dropper like so. Now, as you get behind the guys, place a block right there with a comparator going forward with a block right in front of it. Then you're going to place a piece of rest on dust in front of that block with a block on the side. A repeater going the opposite direction with two pieces of rest on dust going forward. And a block right in the side of that dropper. So what we're going to do now, guys, is simply mirror this image. So place two blocks and another block with a comparator going forward. Place some redstone dust in front of that block. Block on the side with a repeater going forward and two pieces of redstone dust like so. Now over here, guys, in the middle, you're going to place two blocks with a repeater on top going forward towards the droppers, a block right behind the repeater, then a block in front of the repeater, break that. Perfect. Then two redstone torches like so, and two blocks right on top, on both sides, and one on top of the repeater. Then add three pieces of redstone dust on both sides, like so, and a comparator going forward. Now you're going to place a hopper going towards each dropper side by side. On the right side, you're going to place a chest, and on the left side, you're going to place a composter with two hoppers going down and make sure that each hopper is going towards the comparator on top see and one large chest and you can place a hopper on the right and two on the side and that should centerize the whole thing see and right over here guys place a large chest by one block forward and this is the only time you actually go out so place three rows of large chests leaving one block of space on each side. And this is actually the only time you go about one block out of the perimeter. And hopper is going behind each chest. Place about one block forward. Make sure that hopper is going towards that direction facing the back end, bringing it all the way towards this side. Okay, so you line up to the, like the third one. Then place one hopper facing that direction and two more towards that direction. Okay. Now we're going to place a block here. It should line up with that last hopper. Place some blocks on the side. Blocks over here. Fantastic. And over here as well. Because what we're going to place now is a water item elevator. Now you're just going to fill this up, guys, with some buckets of water. Fantastic. And add about two blocks on each side. And just kind of wrap that around. So the water, this last water source makes everything flow towards that hopper and place one slab. Now on the side of this, guys, we're going to do it again. Place a block straight up like so. And over here, right from that top of that dropper and here as well. Now this one, we're going to do like a whole hopper U-turn. I'm going to show you what I mean. We're going to place a block there, break that one, place one hopper going towards that direction, another one going towards the same direction, and the same as the third one. Place one on the side. See how it kind of curves? And you're going to go on this inside here. So it's basically going from forward. See, it's going towards that direction, making a whole U turn, and keep going towards the outside direction. Now let's cover these blocks up. And you know what? Make sure when you go in here, guys, to add the blocks on the inside as well. So one, two, and three. 
Then we're going to fill this whole thing up with water. Now, once you've done that, place your slab right on top. It allows all the items to kind of flow really nice and smoothly. Now, back here in the center, add three blocks, break the bottom two. This is right in the back, in the middle. And you can extend it right to get about one block away from the edge. So in total, that should be about nine blocks wide. And repeat that one more time over here. Now you're going to place a redstone dust on the inside, one behind it, two repeaters going outwards. Then you're going to place a block on the side of each redstone dust. Have a comparator going towards that block with a block behind it and a block at an angle and two pieces of redstone dust. And you're simply going to mirror the same exact image. So place a comparator going forward with those two pieces of redstone dust, the blocks, and there you have it. Now break that block, place one dropper facing downwards, and you're going to repeat that on the opposite end. Now real simple guys, starting from that dropper, place a line of hoppers and it should line up with those hoppers and the same here. So place your hoppers going forward till you connect with that hopper and say, and that is your overflow protection. So you can place some sand with cactus, and you're going to place a block underneath and on the side as well so nothing comes out. And that's in case any items, you know, this whole system gets filled up. Um, you really can't stop the iron farm from going. So this is the best method to kind of get rid of those extra items that you're just not going to use or just you don't want anything to kind of back up. Now starting here, guys, place a block on the side of those hoppers on top. Add an additional four more blocks. And you're going to fill up this entire gap, guys, and this should be a perfect five by five right in the center. Then you're going to add some blocks, and that's going to be like the six block, but really it's just going to be a trimming around that whole area. Now, I like to use glass because this is going to be the kill chamber for the iron golems. So add two rows of glass in this case, or blocks of your choice, and you're going to add a row of signs and make sure to crouch so you can add a sign in front of each sign. Now, once you've done that five times, fantastic. You're going to add a sign in the middle of that hopper. Now, guys, you can put it sideways to kind of have the least visuals or um, and also place one bucket of water source on each corner. It forces everything to go in the center. And you know what? Let me change that sign. I like it like this. So it kind of lines up perfectly. Either way, you just want everything to go in those hoppers. Now, this is the most important. On the right side where that composter is at, make sure you add four pieces of dirt and at least three poppy flowers. And on this side, guys, on the left-hand side, add your iron, just a few iron ingots, maybe three, and you're good to go. Now, we're going to extend this up one more time. And what I like to do, guys, get some wood, get some oak wood planks, and that's where you're going to add your bucket of lava right there in the middle. The reason I do that, guys, because you don't want to break the wood and then fall down to the hoppers. And the cool thing about wood, it burns. So once it burns, it disappears, and there you have it, your perfect system. Now, we're going to extend this, once again, two more blocks up with glass. And starting from here, on top of the glass, you're going to go exactly 15 blocks up. Now, you might have to pause the video at this point because it's going to take some time. But what you want to do is take your block of choice and add 15 blocks all around. Until you have this perfect kind of like death trap. It's a giant shaft that falls right down to the lava. Now, right over here, guys, you're going to add five blocks in the middle, leaving one block of space on each side. And you're going to extend that. 16 blocks making a perfect kind of bridge and you can do that to all four corners now pause the video at this point guys because this is another item list for each of the iron farm units you're going to have four on each platform now just to show you survival get a bucket of, of water Place it right there at the edge, guys, because you're going to have to place some blocks underneath. And you're going to be really high. 
So what I do is play some buckets. It allows me to swim up and also play some blocks and place one on each corner. Once that happens, I get right back up, get my bucket, take that right back and place the blocks right over here to create this one drop platform. It's going to be five wide by six blocks long. So you're going to extend this about six blocks long going outwards. And of course, fill it up. Now, once you've done that, guys, place a piston right there in the center, a block right there on the side. Let me change the color to a stone. And add one redstone torch, one redstone dust, a repeater on full delay, and another one with a block in front and a block on the side right there with some redstone dust in the middle. And two more repeaters, guys, on full four ticks. All of them on full delay. And remember to repeat this on all four corners. Now, once you've done that, you're going to cover this up and wrap it around with some blocks. And then starting here, guys, wrap that around again with another row of blocks perfectly. Now, you're going to put some blocks right here on the inside. Extend that upwards. And you're going to fill the platform here. And you just want to cover all this up. Awesome. Now you're going to add three blocks right across. And make sure when you place your bed, guys, it is like so. The head or the pillow part has to be away from those blocks. Now over here on the back end, you're going to add a row of blocks, about five blocks. And a block on each corner and right in the center, add your composters or any of those um, blocks that allow the villager to kind of change their uh, job title, whatever the case is. Um, I use composters. They're really easy to make. Now add your fences. It doesn't have to be stone. It'll be any fence you want on both sides. And you're going to extend these blocks upwards, about two. Then you're going to add trap doors in the bottom and trap doors on the top part of that block right across. It allows the villager to see the mob but not interact with it. Now back here, you can add trap doors like so to kind of create this kind of wall, depending on how you want to design it, or just straight blocks, which is fine. Just delete the one in the middle so you can have more of a visual of what's happening. Now at this point, you're going to add another row going forward, about two blocks, and you're going to make a five wide by eight platform. Now leave that hole open because that's for the mob, the zombie itself. And you definitely want to leave a little bit open here, guys, because you definitely got to get at least two to three villagers in there like so. And make sure to cover this up with some kind of block. I like to use fence because you don't want the iron golem to spawn on that edge. Now you're going to place your fence right here. Extend that all the way till you get parallel to that edge and extend it upwards till you get up here. You're going to wrap it around. Make sure you never place a block on top, well, a fence on top of any of these blocks. You want to leave that open space. And starting here, guys, you're going to do the same exact thing. So let's replicate this. Place the fence right there and extend it all the way to the front of this. And there you have it, guys. It's really that simple. Now you're going to add your buckets of water right across. Add your pressure plates and add another source of water right across, guys, and it should stop right at the edge. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, getting these villagers out there is gonna be tricky. All right, that didn't work. But once you get it working and you get these bad boys out there, it is gonna be so easy. It just takes some time. So once you get at least two where you could breed them and, or three, you have to have a total of three. Once you have three villagers, this system is lock and loaded. You don't have to deal with that anymore. And you got to do the same thing with the zombies, okay? But with the zombies, don't forget, once you have one, you got to name tag it. Otherwise, it will despawn and your iron farm will stop working. So you can name it whatever you want. Just name tag them. 
and get them in, of course, without the minecart, but make sure you get that zombie in there. And the cool thing about all this, guys, once it's in there, the farm is going to start working immediately. Now, at this point, guys, it's all clean up. Get all those stuff out the way. As you can see, he came out of nowhere. And this system works really quickly. And if it doesn't, it generally takes like a night cycle to continue. So the only thing we have to change, guys, is this corner here. Add some slabs instead of blocks right there on the fall part on the edge. Because you don't want it to connect with the fence. Otherwise, it will prevent the iron golem from going forward. And add your water sources so that everything gets pushed forward towards the center. Now, once you repeat that on all four corners, as you can see, right here on the edge, if you want to extend this, add about two more fences going upwards, so a total of three, and a row of blocks all around. Now, guys, make sure you add an additional 17 blocks on top of this, okay? If you want to make another row or another set of iron farms, like so. Now, it's going to take you some time. Pause the video. Just make sure, just like we did, guys, you did it on all four corners and you repeat the same identical layout that I just showed you. See? Looks familiar, right? It's just basically cut and paste. Just add those five blocks and simply repeat what we just created right at the first level. Now, I made this about a total of four levels to get that kind of output. Now, at this point, guys, don't forget I have a download in the description of this world if you really want to see the details and how this farm was created and, and see firsthand how the actual farm works. If you guys really want to build this, I added a ton of details to Zion Farm. So you guys can really check that out bit by bit and just kind of put your twist on it in case you want to really get some inspiration. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.